<laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Tusk Line Podcast, episode 70. If you're new around here, comment down below, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And as you know, it's a big achievement. Hold on, us. hold on. I want to address something, bro. Okay, go ahead. If you guys, you probably have noticed, why is it 70? Aren't we on 69? Wasted podcast, the last oh, podcast. Yeah. Disgusting, bro. Dis bro. Disgusting behavior. I can't believe we got treated like that on our own podcast. Like, yeah, how many right. guests have we had on? Osama Hussein, Big Bad Boma, and Achilles. Achilles. We're going to see you April 27th at the Arena Sports Club. Ah. You bring, bring your balls with you. Yeah. You're, you're going to wish you never say. messed with the Touchline podcast yeah. because you got, you got assaulted, basically. You did got you launched. Did you call Literally the cops? Launched. Did you? No, no, no. Uh, we'll no. sort it out 27th of April. We'll get them on the ring in April, April 27th. Wait, wait, wait. April 27th, they're going to get it. Make sure you guys click the link down below. I actually spat there. Yeah, no, that's all good. <laughs> click Sorry. the link down below. Make sure you go buy tickets. You don't want to miss it because we're coming on. We're going to we're gonna prove. We're going we're gonna to show them. We're going to show them. We're, we're too good for that show anyways, but we're going there to teach them a lesson and just to show them. We're, we're not going on there for a segment, bro. No, no, I'm, I'm fired up oh. now. <laughs> we're not going on there for a little segment. We're going mate, there to boy. show him who the Touchline podcast is. 100%. Because for him to get assaulted like that, our mate, this is family right here. That, that, blood, that is disgusting, blood. bro. That is disgusting. You don't come on that podcast, you know, take phone calls and, you know, think think you're, 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 you're like a top gun. Disrespecting us. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on. That's our podcast. We, we wanted a nice civil chat. You don't act like that. Don't exactly. Like that. Yeah, but make sure like you guys go buy the tickets down below. It's in the description. April 27th, the Arena Sports Club. But yeah, just had to get that yeah. out of the way. A uh, thousand subs, boys. So yeah, what, a, thousand what a journey. Yeah. Well done, boys. Right, thank nah, you. Thanks, Joey. Thank, thank you. Sure, yeah, boys. what a journey it's been. Um, but the highlight of this 1,000 sub means that Anthony goes skydiving. <laughs> yes. Longer waited, but it's finally going to happen. It is going to happen. Um, me and Bill had the conversation last night um, on Instagram. So he asked me, when you want to do it? I said, look, I'm easy because I know we like we got a busy weekend uh, in front of us. So I told him, let's leave it next Saturday. But Because you know how we got the Dogs Newcastle yeah. game next Sunday at a core cool stadium. So well, I said, let's lock it in next Saturday if yeah, it's availability. You, you, whether so. it's today, whether it's tomorrow, whether it's tomorrow, whether Imagine it's doing six it months, night. you're doing it, bro. You're <laughs> you not can, backing out nah, of this. I'm doing it. I'm <laughs> ready to go. Gonna I saw Hectic Fred's comment. Yeah. So, yeah, he's like, can I, can can I just say Hectic something? Fred. Tell me. I'm absolutely proud of you, boys. Thank you. Thank you, bro. A thousand subs. Look, to you're going to get haters that are going to talk down the thousand subs, but let's be real. Mate, to have a thousand subscribers is not the same as having a thousand followers on TikTok. A thousand followers on Instagram. That's yeah. right. A thousand yeah. followers, uh, subscribers on YouTube. Yeah, is oh. it's massive. Yeah. It is that's, massive. That's a proper massive achievement. Yeah, and it's reflecting in your views that you yes. get on your videos. And as an outsider looking in, I just want to say I'm proud of you. Thank you, man. And, um, you know, you're so well on the way to getting you to your 10K. Thank oh, you, man. Appreciate, appreciate it. it man. You've been with us from the start, man. You've seen the progress and whatever. I've man. seen the growth, and, man. And just your support, bro. Like, it's much appreciated. You know, anytime we want advice, we come to you, Joey, man. Um, and he's come on our And he's coming up. And he's coming up. For the time, bro. Yeah. You know, the, the, the people love you. So, like, and um, he came on to do a podcast with Bill about yeah. his book. So, if you haven't watched that video, link in the description. Beyond Limits, Unlock Your Potentials coming out very very soon yeah we're Thank gonna keep you, you posted on details which will be coming out soon as i said so stay tuned yeah, it's um a book you don't want to but miss. yeah and and just another thing i want to just thank you all you supporters for you know um, coming along with this journey so far, it's only the start. We're only going to get the better. Beginning, so we're, you're we're going to hear more Bashara screaming. <laughs> you're going to hear. You're going to hear a lot of videos that come in your way. Nah, just, it's the start, man. But just want to just want to say thank you very much for your support. And uh, thank yeah. you so much. But there's more to come. But look, this is just the beginning. That's it. We we got a long way to go. This is our future, and this is going to be a long term. So yeah, that's it. I, I can't wait for more videos to come. I can't wait for more vlogs to come as well. And so can't much wait for more Bashara. Oh, I can't wait for more. The people, are, <laughs> the, the people are screaming for this more Bashara. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just do a day in the life of Anthony Bashar. Especially my laugh, but you know what I said the other time? I said maybe we should uh, do a laughing contest, me and JT, Jonathan Thurston. <laughs> yeah, I want to yeah. see that happen. Yeah, we I'll have think, to bring him on. I think you'll, you'll win that one. I think so. <laughs> you would. But um, anyways, uh, let's get straight into league talk. <laughs> Boys, uh, who wants to start us okay, off with the round five? The first game we're going to be doing is uh, Melbourne and Broncos. So that was a very fan like. Fascinating match right yeah. to the end. What's mm. the wire? But Melbourne just squeezed through <coughs> and got the win. Um, yeah, how, how did you guys see that game? Did Melbourne deserve that? Did Broncos, you know, you feel they could have done better? It was always going to be a narrow game. <laughs> yeah. You know, the two top teams in the league, you know, Brisbane Broncos just coming off, a, you know, they were in the grand final last year. Melbourne just always been that top team. Um, yeah, man, I, it's exactly what I expected, to the be Broncos honest. Uh, Amy Park, they're, they're always going to get the win. 
Melbourne. And plus, you look at Broncos' performance in the first half was incredible. They yeah. absolutely dominated Melbourne. But when Reynolds got injured, that's when the game was Poor over Reynolds, for them. man. What, do you, what are your opinions on that game, George? Like, like I told you at the start of the year, I don't rate Brisbane. Mm. I don't, I don't, that. I don't rate them, yeah. and I knew, I, I knew, I knew they were gonna not perform as everyone expected them to. Last year was their chance to win the comp. Yeah, they've blown that. People are underestimating mm. what that can do to your confidence. Like, th- there's two ways to look at it, right? And if you want to be positive and say, look, you know, you got to lose a grand final to win one. You know, they've been there before. They've got the experience. Um, you know, they're well on the way to winning one. Man, losing a grand final can have the opposite effect as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. They were so close to winning it, man. Yeah. They were like 20 minutes away of just not great football. If they just played simple footy, not even solid. Yeah. Hold your line. Let in one or two tries. They were 20 minutes away from average football. Yeah. To win a comp and they blew it. Yeah. It was an abysmal performance. Mm. They're not coming back from it. I'm guaranteeing you now. You've heard it here first yeah. on the touchline podcast. The Broncos are done for men. Because mm. you talk about that, you look at twenty uh twelve dogs lost to Grand Final the year after we struggled. Parramatta in twenty twenty two. It's hard. Canberra, so in, two th- season, Canberra yeah. in 2019 so you're right, yeah. made the comp, they've disappeared has. since. Yeah. 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 When you get there, making an NRL grand final. I think because the likes of Roosters, Melbourne, Penrith, because they make them so often, yeah. people think that it's easier to make a grand final. Yeah. yeah. But it is so hard to get there. And when you <coughs> get there, you got to make sure you take that opportunity. And unfortunately, exactly. Brisbane didn't take it. Yeah. And I yeah. don't think they're going to be there this year. I think with Melbourne now, I think, I don't know, I've been impressed, but I haven't been impressed. If you look at how last year they were, Papenhausen has really given a, a boost that yeah. they needed. Munsters came in. But again, they're leaking too many points. They just beat Warriors. Now they just beat Broncos in high-scoring matches. Yes, yeah. their attacking is looking good, but their defense is not up look, to this. It looks a bit weak. You've After that Panthers won the first round. They've lost a lot of strike power. Let's be real. Yeah, they're, actually no, they're really not true. the same Melbourne as they have been the last five years. Oh, yeah. That's right. But put those same players... Take them out of the Melbourne system yeah. and put them, for example, at the Dragons or the Bulldogs. They won't be winning those games. Mm-hmm. What's keeping Melbourne in the game is the system the club has in place, yeah. is the culture. 100%. So yeah. no matter what player you put in there, whether they fall short or whether they win it, they're always going to aim up. And that's why Melbourne will always be in the semis at I, the back end I'd of the year. I'd always say, as long as Bellamy is still at the helm of... Melbourne Storm, hundred percent. They're not. They're not. Not making finals. Hundred percent. You know. But um, moving on. Yeah. Next game. Uh, Bulldogs and Roosters. Um, for a second you thought Bulldogs had just turned into the 0-4 team. Yeah. Twenty six nil at half time, but that first half. That second f- half was back to reality. Yeah, it was terrible performance like, from the dogs. How do you lose a twenty six point lead? I don't understand. Only the Bulldogs can do that. Yeah. Only the Canterbury Bankstown yeah. Bulldogs can lose a twenty six point lead. Yeah. Like as you said, 0-4, that they were, they were playing in that heritage jersey. They reminded me of that 0-4 team, the way they were playing, smashing it all over the park. And then that second half hit. It just like what is happening? It, it reminded me of it went from 04 Bulldogs to 2023 Bulldogs mm. in a matter of 40 minutes. But it's it's look, you can see what the the dogs are trying to implement in the squad. You can see that first half shows what we are capable of doing. But that sure. second half shows that we're still not the team we want to be. Not an 80 minute team. Not an 80 minute team. We're still lacking a bit of quality in this team. And I don't want to hear anyone saying any, anything about the rain. Because, no, like, no, no. when we were losing that lead, it stopped raining. Yeah, All right, yeah. wet conditions and it was slippery and whatever, but still, it wasn't, was not affecting anything. No, no, it wasn't at well, all. You yeah, could say that Roosters had a lot of unfair causes go against them. Like, yeah. Dominic yeah. Young was not a send off. I think at least a Sim Bin. Oh, no, it was a send off. Oh, no, 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 that was a big no, blow, though. Like, come on, man. It's, it's, it's a normal It's, it's, it's a tough. Time. Look, it was, it was it's flush. Yeah, yeah. But when you talk send off, you know, there's a few aspects they look at. They look at, was the fist. Clenched, mm. yeah. You know what I mean. Was that a swinging arm, and where was the point of contact? It was a swinging arm. I think the Deba- way debatable in the sense it's not your coat hanger normal yeah, swinging yeah. arm. Yeah, yeah. But he did come in. With, look, there's two things that went against him. Yeah. It was he hit him flush, so Correct. it didn't it didn't hit the ball and bounce up or his no. shoulder. Right on the jaw. He's it gone flush on the jaw. Yeah. yeah. And secondly, he, th- there was force. Mm. Mm. Th- those forced, two yeah. things, I think, worked against him. Yeah, I, 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 you can't really argue. 
the send off. Yeah. Because yeah. if it wasn't a send off, there's an argument for as to why it's the right call. Yeah. And if it was a send off, then there's another argument as to why it was the right call. So it could have gone either way. But yeah. the Simbin, that's blatant. Yeah, blatantly the wrong call. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's exactly. black and white. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. He didn't even make the initial tackle. Mm. He yeah. was nowhere near the legs. Yeah, mm. he just fell on his legs. Yeah, if you look at the footage, his arm is actually on his shoulders, mm. nowhere near the hips or the back or the or his his mid torso. Yeah, right top shoulders, wrong call. But yeah. just to go back to you boys, I'll give you a bit of um bit of confidence. Yeah, in the Bulldogs' defense, now I know he's he's nearly lost the game. 20 and he's nearly blew well, a 26 close, yeah. point lead. Yeah. But can I tell you how hard <coughs> it is? And I'm talking as an ex rugby league player. When you have a lead like that, and especially a quality team, this is a quality team. Roosters, yeah. Like it wasn't the Titans or the Tigers. Yeah. Like if it was one of them or the Dragons, you'd, you'd think, what the hell's going on? But you just put it on, right? One of the competition favourites. Yeah. Because if the Roosters were to win the comp this year, it wouldn't be odd. Yeah, no, exactly. They're looking lot, the goods, uh, yeah. A lot of people yeah, are saying yeah. they're going to win. So, a, you're playing top four contenders. Yeah, correct. B, look at their strike power that they had on the field, mm. right? C, it is so hard as a player when you're up twenty six nil to keep that intensity. Yeah, right. Hundred percent. You are going to drop. You, you know, you sort of go into your shell. You start defending the lead. Because you think 26 points is enough. Yeah. So you start, you change your style of play. You stop attacking and you become more defensive. And then your mindset actually changes. That's right. So you're no longer looking to as an offensive, yeah. right? You're looking at, okay, we've, we've got 26, right? How do we defend it? Yeah. And that's when you can get in trouble. And that's yeah. what happened to the dogs. I don't like that. For me, I like a team that's ruthless. You've got to keep on going. Try and 100%. get at least the next two tries. Because 26 nil, even with the dogs, it's never over. Yeah. And with the roosters, like, the first 15 minutes, we were 18-0 against their full-strength team. And yeah. after that, they started getting injury. Sam Walker, Tedesco. Yeah, that's off. Right. I was so you can see that, that yeah. as a positive. Beautiful point. Brother, we almost lost to 11 players. I know. 11 players. We almost lost that lead and lost <laughs> the game to 11 players. You give Roosters 10 more minutes, they win the game. Yeah. Okay, so back to my point. Yeah. You're talking about 11 players. Yeah. 13 on 11 is a massive advantage to have. Yeah. If you're attacking, mm. yeah, you're right. Yeah, you, Do you uh, get me yeah, about your point because you got a two man overlap every time, yeah. right? So you might go, you know, left of the ruck for one play, yeah. right of the ruck on the second, left of the ruck on the third, you know, then you might hit a blind side yeah. if you've got yeah. an overlap, or you might go to the open side if you've got an overlap. That's what an attacking team will do to take advantage of a two man overlap. Mm. But like I told you, the dogs went into their shell. Defending the lead. Yeah. So the minute you start defending a lead, yep. that two man overlap doesn't mean anything. Yeah, true. Because you're not hitting edges. Well, supposedly right. we're supposed to have one of the best defensive teams in the league. But like, I know, I, I get your point. But um, but even Burden, Burden scores three. Gets hat a hat trick. Yeah. Blake Taff has a great try save. For first minute, like, and, and, and I could argue all. that's why Dominic Young, you know, did what he did to him. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm, nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. Look, like, Taff. I wasn't the biggest of <laughs> biggest fan of him when he joined yeah. the club. Yeah. But this, I'm um, starting to show why we signed him. I think he's a good player. Yeah. Great signed, player. He's a good player. Like, yeah, yeah. During his time at Rabbitohs, I said, why would we be signing a player that when he starts for Rabbitohs, he doesn't really perform and he can't even get to the lineup. He yeah. can play 5-8 and they're lacking that position with Lock and Elias and that halfback role, which I think he can play. But since he's joined the club, I've been happy and now Burden was starting to see the burden we signed from Penrith, he's really clicking into gear. And that period when he was playing centre, you can just show how much we missed him in that 5'8 position. When he wasn't there, we weren't attacking enough. And when he was there, you can just see the difference. So I think that debate is over where yeah. he should be the 5'8, not centre. But you get um, Anthony's point. <laughs> Anthony, what's your view on the game? Quickly, bro. We'll no, move like, on. Look, to be fair with you guys, first half, like, it was very good performance. But we, our reaction says it all in the second half. Like, as soon as... um. Uh, what, what's name number six was it from Roosters? What's his name? Uh, um, Sam Walker. Oh, Kiri, Kiri. Kiri, Kiri. When he put that first try, that's when it started to change, yeah. and then that's when our reaction like went nuts. Like yeah. the last ten minutes, I was like, I was fuming a little bit. Sure it, it wasn't that bad because <laughs> Joey was saying yeah. like, "How was um Bashar at the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my stress level wasn't that bad. I'm not gonna surprising. Lie to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
compared to last Look, week, that was yeah, you're worse. Might have been the wet weather. Look, that was worse. Let's on, let's move on now to the Rabbitohs and the Warriors game. Warriors now starting to click, starting to really show why yeah. they're they're Premiership contenders. But Rabbitohs, man, they are struggling. They are struggling. Unacceptable. Big time. That's what yeah, I'm saying. It's unacceptable. And you know what? I'm so happy. I'm happy yeah. it's <laughs> happening because at least these big teams can see how the likes of Dragons, Bulldogs, Tigers, fans, how much. We go through losing every single week. And now they're starting to lose every week and they're starting to lose fans. Yeah. Starting to lose crowds, getting yeah, empty. That's right. So I'm I'm happy that it's like they're struggling. But again, with the plays they have, Latron Mitchell, Cook, Murray, they should be doing better. Yeah. Um yeah, it just I know we're gonna get into it later about Latron Mitchell, but like I don't know what's happening with that bloke. Like, like it's he's done a full three sixty, not Looks a like he's yeah. lost passion for the game. Yeah. Yeah, look. He's not into I'm gonna watch yeah, how we talk about Latrell because yeah. okay. there's there's obviously mental health issues going on. Mm-hmm. So we need to tread carefully. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and let's forget about footy. Like even the elbow. Like some might say, you know, it's not out of character. He's a grub and whatnot. Yeah. But we, it's easy to hate players. Yeah, exactly. You know, we all have a player in a team that we hate. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yep. Right? So these guys are coming out of the woodwork because they don't like him. Mm. So I'm not going to go too hard well, on well, him. He's obviously you know what? he's fighting something. Since we brought it up, he gets a three-week suspension due to a shoulder um, on Sean Johnson. Now, obviously that's fair. Um, I don't know. What are your opinions on that, boys? Fair no, call? It's fair. Fair call. Fair. Yeah, I fair. think it's fair. Yeah, so fair. And um, to your point, it probably is going through some mental- No, don't baby just, him. No, no, probably no, I'm is. not saying- No, no, know, no, no. no like, but but it wasn't a shoulder. No, no. It was an elbow. Yeah. But- uh, like, but like but, it was clear malice, but, right? But onto my point, man, like you're saying about the mental health thing, like this is week in and week out now, swearing on an interview, doing all these grubby yeah, moves but, on the field. But think about it, Bill. Yeah. What player in their right mind is going to sit on a camera, F this, F that, but F this. To the mental and he health clearly thing. said, yeah. he clearly said, I know I'm swearing. Yeah. So he knew what he was doing. You know what that tells me? What is it? Self-sabotage. Mm. And, and it could be like he felt, felt out of love for the game because- like to do that week, like Josh had a car gets a gets a knee from him. Now he gets three weeks suspension, and then it's swearing on the interview. It could be like he's done with the game. Uh, you could po- say you could uh, self sabotage. He's trying to kill his own career. Because po- for me, you're a professional uh, athlete in NRL. For mm. okay, you can have mental issues, this and that, but. When you're playing for a team, you need to take things into consideration. Like, for example, you cannot self so, so sabotage yourself and affect the team, the team and the fans. The fans are coming every week to pay the tickets to watch the game every single week. And if you're just not there to perform and just slacking off every week, the fans are going to get sick and the yeah. team's not going to perform and just going to affect the team's performances. Yeah. Yeah, it's important that Latrell has to have the right mindset during a game. Yeah. Because fans are going to turn on him and it's just not a good and healthy um, situation for him and the team. And and like for the media, I'm going to get controversial here. For the media to say it's racism, like let's, it's, it, it's about Latrell, but we're sliding off a bit. For the media to say it's about racism, that fans are booing him at games because we're racist, because he's a different colour. That's, that's, a that's total bogus, nah. total bullshit, to be honest. Because yeah. I know for a fact, when we're at that South Sydney game against on Good Friday, I'm not booing him because of the colour of his skin. I'm booing him because he's been a grub on the field to our player. And that's the, that's the same case for a lot of these other team fan bases who are booing this guy. And I hate how the media has spun it to make us seem like the villains here, saying we're, we're the racist ones. They're comparing him to the Adam Good situation from AFL. Yeah, I remember. Uh, Th- that was a whole different, got, that's a different really. scenario. Yeah. And a lot of journalists, they, they pick on these small things and they, they love to get controversial with it. They love to say, they, they're quick to say the racism thing. They're quick to say it. And like, just like how players don't want to be pointed out on the media saying things that like they don't really mean. You yeah. know, us fans, we don't want the same too for us. I don't want to be called a racist. Yeah. Because you know what I mean? Like, it's not racism. It's so pointless. It, you, you, there's no need to bring that up. Because as fans in sport, there's going to be moments where you boo your team. There's going to be yeah. um, moments where you boo players. It's a normal thing. You can't just instantly put it on, oh, he's, yeah. he's a racist. He doesn't like that. That's what I'm saying. That's not, I know we're not, none of us are like that. And I know not many if NRL yeah. fans aren't like that. It's just part of the put game. Put it in perspective. But Other Aboriginal people in NRL, are the fans booing them? No, no. no. absolutely not. Why are we booing Latrell Mitchell? Because he's being a grub on the field. If this guy plays cleanly and, you know, week in and week out, I would cheer for the bloke. I'm a Dogs fan. I'd cheer for Latron Mitchell. I'd be like, good on you, man. You're like sportsmanship, but we're getting none of that from him. Because yeah. there's moments in, in games where, there's going to be moments where uh, 
a rugby player will do a dangerous tackle or dangerous contact. Yeah. But Latrell, we're seeing it from from him every week, and even last year we saw a lot from him. So just he's showing it every week, and it's making fans mm. be turned off from him, that's and that's why saying. they're going against him. But Look, I think it's um just my last point on this. Yeah. yeah, the club needs to be held accountable. I don't think they're doing enough. Yeah, and it and if they see like for example when he was swearing in that interview. Did someone from head office pull him aside and say, are you all good? Mm. Do you need extra help, assistance? Can we help you in any way? Do you need a, a month off? Yeah. Do you need to go back to Taree? Because he does say but he cops a lot of shit because he always goes back to Taree j- throughout the year. Mm. But he says he feels closer to his people. That's where his parents you know, are. Born and raised. That's, where, that, yeah. uh, that's his land, whatnot. If you've got that connection and it grounds you and it helps you mentally, go for a month. Yeah, I was going to say that. I, I Take time off. That's what I'm saying. Even yeah. like the season, I reckon if it's really about him getting finding his form in NRL again, literally take the season off, refresh your mind. Even that, 100%. Just get back next year. All right. because great. You that's, wanna, that's a great point. Question, you know, boys. Yeah. Question, boys. Do South Sydney do better without Latrell Mitchell? I think so, yes. I think so as well. Why? What are you saying? Why? Because like... With that whole situation that's happened to him, like, all right, we understand, like, I know everyone's booing at him and stuff, but they got a lot of juniors in the New South Wales Cup as well, can play better than him. You know what I mean? But like, who, who sh- want it? Who, who wants the opportunity? That who wants they that spot, play you know? The league. If yeah. they want to play for passion for NRL, for their club, they should take the opportunity. I know Latrell's not showing much in, yeah, he in hasn't the squad been right it. now, but yeah. losing a player like him in a way, can maybe not bring the best out of the team. Yeah. You're losing yeah. one of your best players in the team, even if he's not performing. There'll be times where Latrell might start to pick up form and you're going to see the best from him. Yeah. So if you're bringing a play from the New South Wales Cup, it may be good in a way because, again, you bring passion from that play, his desire to play for the club. Yeah. But, again, it could all go wrong and he, the kid doesn't perform. Before anything, I just saw today, uh, well, two hours ago on Instagram, they had a video that Latrell Mitchell uh, saying that rumours he might go to, uh, what's his name, NFL. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> bro, I actually where saw did you that. hear that? You're the rumor mill. Come on, man. I actually saw <laughs> You're that. You're the rumor mill. What that. are your sources, I, bro? I've been, you know me, I always have NRL updates well, on Facebook man, and Instagram. I don't I know, but maybe. They're look, saying that he, he was talking about uh, NFL. Yeah, I don't, yeah, think, look, maybe, I don't yeah. think that will happen. I doubt, I doubt um, it. Yeah. Look, let's quickly so, move on to Canberra Para. Um, uh, Joey's premiership winning team. Para. Yeah, his premiership winning team going down the drain. Watch out. Joey, what do you reckon on that game? That was a pretty... P- embarrassing performance from the Eels. Look, I think Blaze, de- again, like uh, I'm not a first grade coach. Mm. So at the end of the day, Brad, Brad Arthur's the professional here. But I wouldn't be putting Blaze, who's on his third NRL game, in the halves. Yeah. His debut game in the centres, yeah. mate, he was That's electric. Yeah. Keep him there. Put Ryan Madison, he, he's more mature, he's a seasoned first grader. Mm. You know, he's been in the NRL for, you know, he's coming, you know, he's eight years, seven years. Like, he's come from the Roosters system. He's solid. He's a solid player. Yeah. Throw him at 5'8", bro. Because no matter who you put there, they're not going to give you what Mitchell Moses gave you. Yeah. 100%. Now, I understand Blaze is a junior half. So, he played all his junior footy as a half. But... Uh, look, it's a big loss. Mitchell Moses is huge. Yeah, right? it's massive. Unfortunately, to be a one man team, as some people are calling them, yeah. um, I sort of agree with that. But you need to understand that's your playmaker. Mm. Like, look at the dogs. Look at all the big signings you have. Look at all the strike power you have across the whole field. Yeah. When you don't have halves, you can do nothing with them. Yeah, 100%. You need a, a solid halfback and a solid 5'8". The combination of Moses and Brown is one of the best combos in the NRL. Yeah. They've now lost that, right? I don't <coughs> blame... I, it's not It's not a, um, a big shock to me that Parramatta are performing the way they are. Mm. I, I actually feel that they could minimise the damage with putting Madison in the halves. Yeah, you could say that. But um, what are your opinions on the game, boys? For me, I want to talk about Raiders for a bit. I think their backline on their day is one of the best in the game. Tomoko is an absolutely outs- outstanding player. I've, I haven't seen a centre like him in ages. There's a few good centres in the game, like mm. probably better than him. But for Tomoko, bro, he's just crazy and I love yeah, him. Like any right club now. right now, I would, I'd love to sign him. 
He's an absolute great player. Even James Schiller coming back into the squad on winger. He's been scoring. How fast is he? He's fast. Right, he's yeah. quick. Bro. Yeah, quick. He's been scoring tries in recent weeks, three weeks. I, I, I'm shocked that they didn't start him from the start. It's always Nick Kotrick that was ahead of him. Uh, Albert Hopawade was in front of him. But always James Schiller. I saw something in him and I was just shocked they never gave him a go. And he's showing his potential mm. right now. Um, and you know what's the biggest difference as well? I'm glad that Daniel Levi um, yeah, he's he's signed good. with Canberra Raiders. Great I think signing. that was the biggest uh, difference for him. Great signing. Great signing as well. And you know what? He's been playing the best of his life right now in Canberra. Like, you know, as a hooker, like, you have to switch sides all the time. You just can't stick with one side. Like, you know, back in the days, um, I, I can't remember who was the hooker from Dogs. He used to stick to one side. You can't do that. You have to switch sides left and right with the combinations yeah. with the halves. You know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. He's like a, he, he changed the whole game for Canberra Raiders right now. Great player. So great underrated. Player. Yeah, underrated. He is underrated. Wow. But he's going to be better, I'm telling you, during the season. Okay, let's now so. move on to round six tips. Just quick fire tips tonight. Yep. Um, so, Knights Roosters first game. No, we'll do that last. So, Knights and Roosters first game. What do you say, Anthony? I think I'm going to stick with Knights. Knights? Knights okay. to win. Roosters. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna go Knights. Um, I'm going Roosters. Knights, I'm going to go... Uh, Roosters? Okay, next one. Shabu, you, you know you got to speak in the mic. What did you say? Shabu's um Roosters. You know what? <laughs> what? Say it again. Put me... Put me... Uh, yeah. Let me Roosters. Let, let me, me roosters. tell you. Roosters, 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 roosters are special. Roosters, roosters. Roosters. Yeah. Yeah. They're not they on that right edge. They're, they're not... Yeah. Serving up another performance like they did yeah, last yeah, week. Yeah, no yeah, way. Yeah. But no they've still got no Tedesco, no Dominic Young. That's okay. Oh, that's oh, yeah. A, yeah, that's you true. You have to understand that. So I forgot yeah. to mention our special guest this week is Nick Stav. Shout out to Nick Shout Stav. Shout out Nick Stav. Um, Nick. Yeah, he's a legend of a bloke. We 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 saw him, I think, at Perth. Such a good guy. And yeah, he's our we special didn't guest. Him at Perth. Did we, didn't we see him? No, we didn't see him. Well, I, I think I don't mind, but yeah. <laughs> no, but anyway, top bloke. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe you saw him in your dreams. He's dreaming about you, Nick. Um, yeah, so he's went um, <laughs> Roosters. So, yeah, everyone's okay. at Roosters except for not, um, Anthony went Knights. Uh, <coughs> next one, um, Melbourne Bulldogs. We want to do who you got? Yeah, we'll oh, do yeah, the who you got. That. You yeah. take that. All right. Th th this is going to be a tough game, to it be honest. It will be. This is going to be... Because yeah. the last time, was it the last time we faced and we beat them? Yeah, or was last that, year. Last yeah, year no, we yeah, beat them. Right. Yeah, yeah, that was with no monster. Yeah, but I think it was 14-8 that but game. It's bro. tough. No, one. we beat them. I reckon it's going to be a tough 12. one. We beat them I reckon, 12? but I've, I've tipped otherwise, to be honest. <laughs> okay, let's but okay. I feel like it will be a sort of let's a tough see. one. Uh, Anthony, who'd you go? I'm sticking with Dogs. Um, it'll be a close game, 22-18. 22-18. Where's it at? Amy Park. 26-18. Melbourne. Okay. And Straight I, away, Joy said Melbourne. And I All think right. that, 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 like I'm saying, the only team that has beat Melbourne at Amy Park yeah. is probably the Dogs. All right. So, so uh, let's do the who you got. Yeah, so, so my 20, score, 20. I said Dogs 22 okay. to 18. Okay. okay. Close game. This one, I th you, you're you going... Melbourne. Melbourne, okay. Melbourne. This one, again, I feel Bulldogs are the last team to beat them at Amy Park, and I Correct. don't know why we're going to do it again. Fuck. <laughs> I know we've got injuries, but I don't know. Yeah. So I'm going 24-10 Bulldogs. I said 24-14 Storm. Okay. I feel like it'll be a close margin. So again, um, you know how two weeks ago I said Dragons will win and you all tipped against me and yeah. I had a feeling Dragons will win. Same with Tigers and I've got this same feeling with Dogs yeah. and I think we'll win 18-16. <coughs> wow. Close got a feeling that's that's we, got, we got a lot of injuries. Can you just send well, me that in a message? Sorry? Send me that in a message. <laughs> <laughs> Put some money on it. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, Anthony, anytime try scorer. Um, number nine, Ryan Marty. The hooker. Okay, Joey, anytime try scorer for yeah. that game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That game. anytime. Like, uh, I'll go Paps. Okay, Paps. In front of his home crowd. Um, I said Xavier Coates. Um, I went Jacob Kiraz. <coughs> Kiraz. He's he been scoring lately. Yeah, no, he, he hasn't, hasn't been. Uh, no, the last uh, no, the last shot he put uh, was against Titans at Belmont. Shabal. Two oh, weeks yeah, ago. Yeah, right. Um, Shabal's went um anytime try scorer Katoa. At least Katoa. Okay. All right, let's do it quickly, man. Um, um, next one. First, first try, try scorer. scorer. Uh, I'm going to put Jerome Hughes. Okay. Hughes. First try um, scorer. I'll first try scorer, Harry Grant. Bill? I'll put um, Matt Burden. Matt Burden. Did you put, did you put Sam Hughes? Who, who did you put for Anthony? Anthony? Jerome. Oh, I, think I said Jerome Hughes. And Joey, who you reckon? Uh, what's their winger's name? The other one on the right? Warbrick. Uh, Warbrick. Warbrick, yeah. Warbrick. Okay. Got him. Next He's a good one. player, man. Yeah. Man of the match. Um, Burdo. Matt Burden. Burden. Um, I'm going Jacob Kira's man of the match. Where are you going, Joey? Um, I'll go Munster. 
Monster. Monster. I, 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 I said Coates because why are you skipping me, bro? <laughs> 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 so you went Coates out of the match? Yeah, Coates. <laughs> Maybe because you tipped against your team. Maybe. Maybe. Upset yeah. with yeah. you. This is, this is actually two though. weeks in a row I've done this. Huh? Last hey. week, last week I lost my tip because I tipped Roosters. I'm trying to do like tip Roosters, yeah. you know, tip Roosters win dogs or like tip yeah, Storms. Yeah, one win. for the team. That's <laughs> it. It's all right. It's only yeah. one uh, on my team. Final one, ball prediction, Anthony. Um, I want to see Josh Curran to put his first try in the club. So first half. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, Josh Curran to put in the first try. Right. Curran scores. Um, I went Jacob Kira's hat trick. Wow. What did, you, what did Joey go? What, what do you reckon, Joey? Bowl prediction. Like your bowl um, prediction. I reckon... He's gonna come back to bite you. Your ex, your ex player, Meany. Oh, Nick okay. Meany. Okay. Well, we got him to score a hat trick. To score a hat trick. Uh, We're all going hat trick. I went coach hat trick. <laughs> Everyone's going for these hat tricks. So like, what the hell? Watch me. Hey, watch Meany stand up. You're, yeah, always 100%. against, him, against his former club. Yeah. Always yes. against the. He will step up his game. And I went Alicia Kotoa double. That's all right. But there, that's it. Who's for that? From Melbourne. From Melbourne, the second, the edge, second row. Oh, second row. I love a second. Can you send me that in the text as well? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, done, also, we're done for who you got. Oh, we didn't, we didn't, bro, we, we forgot Nick Stav. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Nick Stav went for Melbourne Storm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we didn't say. No. Did we say his? No, 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 we didn't. No, we, we actually didn't. didn't. I'm going to say next I'm losing. Next All right, next game, uh, we got Broncos versus the Dolphins over at Suncorp Stadium. Anthony. Who are we tipping? Quick fire tip. I'm sick with Dolphins. Dolphins? Yeah. Joey. I'll go Broncos. I'm going to go Broncos. Broncos. Yeah. Shabal Broncos. Too. All right, next game Saturday game Warriors and Manly over at these, uh, ga Ghost, these Ghost games. These games this week are very hard. A bit yeah, tough. tough. Yeah. Even games. Well, tough. They are playing in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah that's, that's always that's a tough. plus. Um, Anthony, but who you going, Anthony? I'm gonna stick with Waz. Was yeah, the Warriors. Can we not call him that when I'm around, please? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Uh, gets under my skin. <laughs> Sorry, man. I don't know where it's come from. I'll just say Warriors. Yeah. That's it. Block Look, your ears, I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll go Warriors. Yeah, only cause it's at Mount Smart. Yeah. No, yeah. it's at oh, it's in yeah, Auckland, stadium, but yeah. no, no, Mount Smart. Okay, uh, I'm going. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a stadium. They just changed it. The What's it called? It's called Go Media. That's it's called called go, it's media. go Media now. Yeah, see, dumb. Yeah. Yeah, Smart. Did they change it? Yeah. They yeah. Oh, okay. That, Sorry, that's Joey. a dumb. No, no, thing, no, 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 Still bank with. Still own the banks. <laughs> but like, it's like a core stadium. Oh, no. It's still ANZ for me. Yeah, but I don't call it a core. Yeah. I, call I call it ANZ. Yeah, I always yeah. still call it Everyone ANZ. Everyone calls it. No matter what. Yeah, but it's um, dumb. Yeah, like, like, don't they call Manly's. Lo Sorry, I know I'm. <laughs> no, no, it's all good, cuz. I'm very right. passionate about this. No, no, it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> but like, what's Lotto Land? <laughs> Lotto. Yeah. It's Book Oval. Yeah. Brookvale. 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 Yeah. Brookvale Oval, bro. Yeah. <laughs> But isn't it another, another stadium? Hey, course? hey Joey, hey, Joey, <laughs> Joey, send him a message. Hey, send, send him a message. Because what do you mean? I've already sent an email. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going. I'm going Warriors for that game. Yeah, yeah same, same. Oh going God. Warriors. All right, moving on. Oh, okay. Wait, Nick so. Sav went for Broncos. We're missing him. So oh about yeah, that, Nick. Everyone's forgetting about uh, Nick Sav. He went Broncos and he also went uh, Warriors. Okay, so he went Broncos and he went Warriors. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So next game we got Parramatta and Cowboys. Yeah. I'm sticking with Cowboys. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Don't <laughs> Joey block your ears what? Cowboys Because no, it's your premiership you make it out team. like Because you think, you think they're winning the, We think they're winning the, the premiership well, No I thought At the beginning of the year So how's the pending out before now Before Moses got injured Well if they can string At least one or two games More while he's injured Yeah And he comes back And fires again Bro they're still in the running bro Yeah so I'm going Cowboys Who are you, you going Joey Where's it at it's uh, Bank uh, Bank a Bank Stadium. Com Bank West. Parramatta. Bank West. Parramatta will bounce back. Just call okay. it Parramatta Stadium. He's going, he's going for yeah. Parramatta. So Cowboys, right. Parra, um, Cowboys. I'm just Cowboys. sick of Cowboys. Cowboys. Who did Nick Stav go? Cowboys. The name. That, no, Jane, so yeah, exactly. so Nick Stav went Cowboys. Yeah. Um, moving on. Rabbitohs yeah. versus the Sharks at a core stadium. Ains Air Stadium. Cronulla. Cronulla win. Yeah. Uh, who are you going, Joey? Uh, it's a tough <laughs> one, man. I really want to say Souths. Yeah, look, I'm gut. gonna go for my gut. Yeah, go for. I can't gut. see it. I can't see why. Don't ask me why. I think because yeah. I don't know. Yeah, mm. but I'll go south. All right, I'm going the Sharkies. Um, I agree with Go. Um, Goalie, <laughs> Joey. He's I, I, I agree goalie. with Joey. He's goalie. <laughs> um, I don't know. I have a strange feeling. Rabbitohs win this one. Haven't they said sorry to cut you off about their coach? Minutes. Yeah, 80 minutes. He's got 80 minutes to save his job. Mm. That's could boost them up. Wow. I'm yeah. on Rabbitohs. Yeah, because I had the headlines uh, going nah, on. Nah, don't worry. Yeah. There's nothing that Rabbitohs can do, even if their coach's no, job I'm is on the line. I'm on Rabbitohs, Shabbat. 
Well, You're not going to win nothing. So me, Shabu, and Rabbitohs and oh, Nick. So shark, shark, shark. Me, Rabbitoh, Shabu, Shark. <laughs> what did Nick stuff went sh- Sharks as well. He went Sharks. Okay, moving on. So the big. I, I can't wait for this game. Yeah, that's going to be a massive one. This one, West Tigers versus St George Dragons at Campbellton. Illawarra Dragons. Sorry, Saint, up, up the Tigers. St George by thirty six. Okay, yeah, Joey's <laughs> Dragons. <laughs> he, he gone. He gone. I think I'm going to stick with St George. St hey, George is going. I'm win going. It. I'm going for the mighty West Tigers. I think they truly take it. I'm sorry, cuz block your ears. This one you gotta block. Cuz he's disgusting now. Nah, <laughs> How can I argue you? Yeah. Look, we're shit. <laughs> you're, going, you're going dragons, buddy. You're right, I'm going you're dragons because. Right. Yeah, no, I'll, Joey's I'll dragons. dragons right. Right. Um, this one's gonna go to the Y. This is gonna be very close. <laughs> I don't know, man. You gotta make up your mind. I'm boy. gonna go Say draw. dragons. Dragons? I'm gonna go tigers and Nick Stav went uh, dragons. Sorry, cuz, quickly. What? Tigers, bro. I hate to say it. I told you earlier today, the only bloke they're missing in that team which will allow them to win every single game is the 18-year-old, yeah, Galvin. Lachlan Galvin. Him not playing now, today, yeah. oh, sorry, this week, yeah. bro, that's actually a big loss. Yeah, huge it, loss. It, it, proved a loss. Yeah. it proved why last week yeah. against the Dolphins. Yeah, I think exactly. Dragons win this uh, last game. Raiders last game, Raiders, Raiders and Gold Coast Titans. I think Raiders. Yeah, easy Raiders. Game. Who, who you going? I think it's going to be like I, a 13-plus yeah, game. Raiders. Yeah, Raiders. Surely, plus, surely. Easy. Tomoko yeah. for a double. Yeah, nice. sure. okay. um, yeah, Raiders. Who, gamble yeah. responsible. Who, who, who did Nick <laughs> Panthers has the bye this week. Did, did so Nick Stab go for Raiders? Yeah. All right, Nick Stab went Raiders. And Panthers, yeah. As okay, you said, anyways, that's a wrap up to round six tips and the round five review. Now let's move on um, to Eels. Again, we've mentioned about it, but who is to blame for the Eels, you know, poor start to the season? Because again, from title contenders to now sitting below the likes of the Bulldogs and the Tigers. In 15th, so who para, yeah, yeah, Paramount. No, this is St. George 15th. Oh, 14th, sorry, Four, Paris, no, 14th. Paramount 14th. 14th. Paris 14th. Paris 14th, we're, we're, we're 13th, yeah, yeah. We're 13. yeah so Paris 14th, in between Paris 14th. Are you below Dragons? I've got to look at this ladder. This yeah, is disgusting. Well, I've got it right now. Here, I actually <laughs> no, got it right here. Um, I think it's a coach, I think he's star. yeah. Uh, yeah, even it's easy to blame the coach. No, nah, but even so when Dogs Mitchell, 13, Param, uh, Paramount 14, even when Mitchell 15. Yeah, we're, we're yeah, still yeah. not bad. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. No, all good. Um, even when Mitchell Moses was in the team, they're still not performing to what they should be doing. Like you look at the start of three rounds when Mitchell Moses was in the squad. Yeah, they still weren't performing. Like they scraped the win against Dogs. They actually it, it did, was, yeah. If it wasn't for our mistakes we were causing, <coughs> we could have easily won that game. And for me, Arthur getting him to a grand final in 2022. Yeah. And when the last two seasons, they, they have the same squad besides Reed Marnie and Papalihi leaving yeah, the they squad. They were the biggest loss. So yeah. they're a big loss, of course, but I still think they have enough <coughs> quality to make top eight, fo- top up, top eight, sorry. Yeah, yeah. And Brett Arthur, for me, is the issue right now. I think lots of teams know how they play. Yeah. I think the style he has implemented at the squad isn't working anymore. Yeah. I think he's taken the Parramatta Eels as far as he can. And I think it's about time they get a new coach. It's easy to blame the coach. No, I- but... They had the same players. Yeah, true. So he's worked with the same players besides Marnie and that, like I've said. So it just shows that the players probably, again, players do play a part. Yeah. But for me, sometimes the coach has to take respons- responsibility of how the team plays because he controls everything, the, the tactics, everything. So it just isn't working for them. At exactly. The, at yeah. And the time. pressure's on him as well. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, look, I know every um, person like with their, their opportunity, like their job, it, it's on the line too, but I'm just saying for himself, like how Shabal said, they might need a change. So I don't know if it's going to happen or not happen. I'm not too sure about that. But Joey, what do you think about it? About um, well, look, Brad first Arthur. of all, they didn't scrape past the Bulldogs. Yeah, yeah. exactly. They pumped you. Yeah. yeah, they did pump us yeah, in the first, uh, game, first yeah. round. They beat, man, they beat Manly. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. Yeah. Manly is a top four contender. Yeah. Okay, you can't go off the the Canberra game. Because again, all right, we look at forty one whatever it was. Eight. Forty one eight. And you guys will know, as a dragon supporter, I know. Yeah. The minute a team strings three tries against you, you shut you shut up shop. Mm. So a eighteen six loss can easily turn into a forty to six loss. Yeah. Right? So I don't think it's Arthur, that's my opinion. I just think it comes down to Moses. Not being there, the effect he has on on the players is is bigger than what the supporters see. I, yeah. I th- personally, for me, I think it's now because Moses isn't there; they're going to be struggling. But I even think with Moses, he still's not going to get him a premiership. 
Like Brad Arthur. The yeah, they still they're yeah. missing finals. They're losing grand finals, yeah. and I just don't think he's the right man. He's not. He's not the reason why they're struggling yeah. this year. Because Moses again, you know, he's out. Like, what are they going to do? <coughs> Their main playmakers out. But again, with Moses and with the coach involved, I think still Brad Arthur is in the. Yeah, man. but like how you said it, like they missed out the finals last year. They actually lost the grand final the year before yeah, against right. Penrith Panthers. So that's why everything's all on the line for Brad Arthur. And the pressure's on him now, so... But they're saying they might bring in... Who? Wayne Bennett as a coaching... Uh, like oh, a football some, manager. Yeah, at the they say that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know, some similar role rumors. to what... How about the rumour man? You should know this. Yeah, I know. Like, I always see the NRL rumours every single day of the week, but, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. I didn't see that. Yeah, so he's going to play the role as what Phil Guild is playing yeah. at the Dogs. Oh, wow. Right. Right. Fair so enough. We'll plays out. Like credit are, to Arthur, like he's yeah. made him a competitive mm. team. We every year making it finals after yeah. final series, and th- again it shows that he's taken the fast fires he can. It's just not working out for him. I don't yeah. think they'll make finals again. Uh, like Sammy said, without Moses or with Moses, and yeah. I think it's time. I think uh, it's his need, end of the road right now. Yeah. Can, again, if Wayne Dolphins don't make finals this year, I think yeah. Wayne Bennett, if he can go to the Eels, I think he. He can yeah. really guide him um, to a premiership. Maybe, trophy. yeah. But quickly, boys, moving on, I, I really want to talk about this just quickly. Yeah, yeah. Lachlan Galvin's management has requested they want to, re- they're considering a release from the Tigers. Wow. You know, oh. because Luai is coming into the halves yeah, position next year, in 2025. Yeah. Are you picking Galvin or are you, are you picking Luai? I get the experience with Luai, but Galvin, man, he's, he's a young he's kid a young talent, making yeah. his way, well, you know, making making moves in the NRL right now. Well, first Who are you picking? First of all, Luai, you're picking Luai any day. Yeah. I wouldn't pick him, but I'm saying they have to pick him because I've just bought him. Yeah. Person, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, but yeah. They can't do anything about it. Exactly. Yeah, but if you were to backtrack on uh, the I'd, deal, would you? If I was the why? If you were Tigers, bro. Like, uh, if you would, would you consider? Because I, t- I know from me, I'm picking Lachlan Galvin. Mm. To be honest, he's the future, bro. If he's playing that good of good of like good footy like that now, at 18, God knows what he'll be like at 25. I th- he has so much talent. Yeah, but again, I don't know. Sometimes. These kids can have a moment of brilliance, like he's brought in, he wants to prove himself, but then later on, all that just goes into the bin. Look at Lachlan Lewis, for example, at the Bulldogs. He was so good for us, mm, yeah. but then he started to just fade out a bit. So yeah. I'm saying that could potentially happen with Galvin. <coughs> Personally, I'd still bring in Luai because they need big yeah. players, yeah. but Galvin still has a big opportunity to go somewhere else. Exactly. So th- I, that's how I'd see it. Look, bro, uh, Lachlan, uh, that's his name, Galvin, Galvin yeah. but he has a big future ahead of him. So to be honest with you, I, I don't know how to say it. Like, I'll definitely leave him at the club. Like, you can put him but, in a different position. But, his but management, it's hard. management yeah. wants him out. Wants to leave. Because Tigers, to leave. But where are you going to put him? But because let That's me tell you, bro, thing. Tigers have had a history <laughs> of, you know, Josh Adakar, James Tedesco, wasn't Papa Right, right Papa as well. Just let these players go. Could Galvin be one of those players? Could he go to a Melbourne Storm, a Penrith Panthers, Most likely. and and be a Dalian player? Most likely. Because let's let's face it, Luai hasn't been playing his best footy. He's, he's, yeah. he's getting a bit older, you know. They actually took him out of the grand final last year and they end up winning it because he was out. You know, do Tigers put all their chips into Lachlan Galvin? Well, that's, that's a, that, I, I reckon they the, keep him, The man. situation Tigers are in, I think that they started the season perfectly. But I think, can they rely on an 18-year-old? I reckon they can. Can they? if, as I said, history, don't let history re- repeat itself, bro. Yeah, History's going to repeat itself. It, it could repeat Mark itself, but I think right now they're in a position they need big signings yeah. mm. that can guide the, the team to finals footy. Because exactly. the more you sign big players, a lot of players are going to join the club. Look exactly. at Dogs. We signed, who did we sign first? Out of car. Then you see Burden Ma- coming Matt in, Kigar coming in, yeah. Kreiner coming in. Big Ray signings Marty, everyone, yeah. more big players into the squad and it can help <coughs> the club rebuild to where they want to be. Exactly, but man. do you think Jerome Lula, uh, Jerome Lua, sorry, Lula will suit, I can't say, Jerome Lua will suit Aiden Caesar like in the halves of combination. He do good, but like Caesar's yeah. gone. What about, what about longevity? He's gone. Nah, he's yeah. all right, Caesar. He's been playing. No, no, I'm footy. saying he's gone. Like he's mid thirties. Yeah. Yeah. Coming up to mid thirties. Yeah, exactly. They've signed him on a one year. Yeah. Um, Lua seven. Yeah. Galvin six. This is a big beat up. Exactly. Yeah, yeah beautiful. It's job. a big beat up. You could argue because Luai's actually then, come. Yeah. He said it when they signed him. Yes, he's coming to be the go-to man. Mm. That's right. He wants to be the Cleary of Penrith. Mm. You don't do that at five eight. No, he wants to run the team. Hundred percent. They're gonna put him out. Yeah, like he wants to guide him. Yeah. Yeah. Like look, the whole look, team. Look, let's move on to now. Michael Jennings. He's not gonna get recognition for his three hundred NRL games. Now, Joey, Disgusting. I know you have a lot to say about this because. 
you wanted to come on this just is to have this, your, I'm here. This, just to have your say on this. Joey, I came for this. So I'm actually Joey. gonna I'm gonna talk about this and I'm going home. Let's turn the, li- <laughs> let's turn the lights. Put the spotlight on Joey. Now. Yeah, just turn the lights off, bro. All right, where's the camera? Which camera are we on? One or two? Yeah, one. two. <laughs> I'm gonna look straight down the camera. Okay, this is the biggest load of bullshit I have ever seen. Right, bro. If I was Jennings, yep. yeah. Obviously, you can't because you're letting. It's a team sport. Yep, mate. But I wouldn't rock up. Yeah, I won't play. Mm, exactly. How dare they approve his contract? Right, register him. You're the top dog. The NRL's the top dog. They say yes or no. Right, they've approved his contract. Now, if you had an issue with his past, and you thought that him wearing your emblem week in week out is not what the NRL is about and he doesn't fit your mold why did you register the contract so he's good enough to get signed off on so he can play but he's not good enough to be uh sim- simply just recognized mm. go out there give him a 300 game ball that's in a glass cabinet right you know a bit of a round of applause it's a big shake team, his man. hand right bro you's heard the stats from Phil Guild yeah yeah when he's interviewed him all yeah. right it's less than 1% that play 300 games that's yeah. right yeah, it's that's a handful right. it's it's the 300 club 100% now he's played 300 i'm sorry you can't wipe him from history no right? that's right? unfair he exactly. served his time yeah. now yes did he get jailed for the dv against no. his wife no, no. right no. there was no jail time was there cops involved? Like, there's details we don't know. So this is I don't know the details. Yeah, because uh, I think um, Abdo has said he doesn't want to celebrate his 300th game because it's a bad look because they're, they're going into that women market, the NRLW now. It's a bad look for the women in their game. And okay, stuff but like sorry, that. you have convicted criminals that have served time in jail that play in the NRL. Yeah. Matt Lodge, okay? for example. Matt Lodge is one example. Yes. Okay? You have indiscretions. Brother, let me tell you, it's one big boys club, right? They've got favoured players yeah. that can get away with shit. Let me, I'll guarantee you one thing. If uh, Radley, right, was caught up in a dust up with his teammate one week before he goes to Vegas, yeah. he is not allowed on that plane. Yeah. But because it was Reynolds, right, one week later he's in Vegas representing the NRL when he got caught on camera footage. Punching on in public. Mm. Him and Pat Carrington. Uh, 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 Carrigan as well. How does, that, how does that work? No, 100%. It makes no sense, right? Right. It, What's the look? It, it's it's presenting a bad look for the NRL. Not 100%. Just a bad, yeah, but not they're, just not, a bad they're, look. They're, they're, they're cowboys yeah. mm. running a multi-million dollar business. Yeah. They're, like, they're like school kids, mm. right? Jack DeBellin has had his career yeah. torn up in, in shreds, bro. Right? Yeah, he got ostracized out of the NRL. Right, he got labelled as a rapist for two and a half years. Mm. Right, his name was Smid. He wasn't allowed to play rugby league. You want to talk about mental health? Go ask Jack DeBellin about mental health. Yeah, and the dark, the dark days that he lived. Right, while the NRL proved he, uh, w- what's the saying? Proven guilty. Uh, proven guilty. Um, proven. Innocent, innocent, innocent yeah, yeah, no, no, innocent. but they've they flipped it. You're, you're not proven. You're not innocent until proven guilty. With yeah, the NRL, exactly. you're guilty until proven innocent. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's right. Beautiful right? way of saying it. That's what they did to yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, they stuffed that up. They've stuffed it up again. What, bro? If if Jennings has done wrong, yeah. right, he has served his time. Yeah, he's been punished for it. Right. And move on. It's play on from here. Yeah, nah. it's exactly. play on. 100%. So, what are we telling the kids? What are we telling our kids? Like they're playing. They they want to come the, from the angle that oh, it's not a good look on on women in rugby league. Let me tell you something. Domestic violence against women, I don't stand for. Yeah, 100%. if you touch a lady, if you touch a woman, or you touch a girl, right? You're you're a piece of shit. You're a dog. Yeah, hundred percent. I'll I'll, I'll say that very clear now. Mm. Right, I don't stand for it. Mm. Okay, but. Are we going to sit here and claim that men don't get domestic violence? Yeah, 100%. There's no, a lot of men, yeah. right, that Same go place. through domestic violence yeah. from women. Yeah, that's So right. domestic violence isn't just about women, right? Yes, the majority of cases are women. Yes. Yeah. Right? But there is men that... that go through. That go through domestic violence. Yes, that, that's okay? a fact. Without raging, ra- raving on, 
yes. and taking this podcast to a three hour session, <laughs> <laughs> right? The last thing I want to say yeah. is there is no way his contract should have got registered if this DV was an issue. Mm. No, for sure. How dare you honor the guy his 300th game, all right? Or you've lost me as a supporter. Bro, that is beautifully put. I, I, I want to touch on that, man. Like, I put my, fir- my I put my hand up first and say I was wrong. The video I made with the I thought it was about the drugs, the steroid juice. Yeah. Um, Abdo, uh, Abdo said it wasn't Ooh. about that. It was about what Joe was talking about, the, the domestic abuse allegation he got. Yeah. Um. But yeah, regardless, man. Like, obviously, this guy has stuffed up. Everyone stuffs up. Everyone makes life, mistakes. And, and that's yeah. a no go. Like, exactly. I don't know if it's true or not. But obviously, he's moved on. He's said his stories and whatever. He just wants to play footy now. And to not recognize this guy's three hundredth game, less than one percent make a three hundredth game. You know, yeah, what do you want to say, yes, Joey? No, I'm in class. Just, no, no, keep going. No, yeah. no, no, just, no just, I'm next. Oh, quickly, I'm next. <laughs> quickly, what I'm going to say, like less than 1% end yeah. up playing 300 games, you know, are, are we just going to forget the career he had? You know, he helped grow the sport. You know, to play 300 games, you're doing something right. That 300th club, Cameron Smith, Benji Marshall, um, Michael Jennings, you know, yeah. they all contribute to make NRL as big as it is. And they're trying to expand into larger markets, you know, I know it's not, easy, not a good look yeah. having these allegations, but yeah. he's he's the person that helped grow NRL. Hundred percent. How bro. many immortals have played three hundred games, bro? Like, cause immortals. Uh, immortals, yeah. Like, like how, many, how many did uh, I'm talking? Raper, Andrew John, bro. No, not all of them played three hundred games. How much did Thurston play? Was it? Um, <laughs> it wasn't three hundred, was it? No, I think he did. No, nah, I think Thurston got to three hundred. Got to three hundred, but, but he's not an immortal. Exactly. I'm talking that have they, they, they've been inducted. Yeah. Yes. As an immortal. Yeah. I, How yeah. many have played 300? Yeah, I, not, I, I couldn't remember. Bro, lot, playing yeah. 300 is not an easy feat. It it's hard. It's okay. very hard. And you know what I'm doing yeah. with my line of work yeah. in yes. regards yeah. to working with youth. Yeah. What are we telling the kids? What are we t- What are we showing our kids? That if you make a mistake, because don't I do a lot of work with troubled kids. Yeah. yeah. You know, kids that have walked the wrong path. Mm. Yes. Kids that are struggling at school, struggling at home. Drug addiction, yeah. right? Uh, in trouble with the law, crime, yeah. in and out of juvie, yeah. right? What am I telling these kids? Hey, no. boys, let's take a lesson out of the NRL uh, NRL's book, right? You've made a mistake in life. You will never be celebrated in your life. Yeah, well, that, that wow. is a great point. You will, you will never be able to achieve anything yeah. and people aren't allowed to stand up and give yeah. you a round of applause because you fucked up. Mm. Yes. Beautifully said, man. Ten years ago. It it, it just shows you that you can't bounce back from anything. You're not allowed to. You're not allowed to. According to the NRL, you're not allowed to. It's disgusting. One more thing as well, how you mentioned about domestic violence with guys as well. On top of that, suicide. Suicide. (laughs) Even suicide as well. There's a lot lot of men. Great great point, Anthony. Great point. A suicide as well. People don't understand about suicide with men. (laughs) Because a lot of people, like even with men, like they're cutting their life too short. Because they can't handle like the pressures, the pressures in life. life. Yeah, look at the it's suicide the, it, rate. Yeah, right. The highest it is, the highest cause of death in males between the age of eighteen and thirty-five is suicide. Well, Correct. Well. In Australia, Fuck not exactly. car accidents. No. Not cancer. Not stabbings. Not shootings. Not murders. What to yeah. do with that? The highest rate of deaths in males in Australia suicide. is suicide. Yeah. Do something about it. Fix the problem. You're yeah. sitting here punishing the guy because of something that happened three years ago, five years ago. And he's, how long has he been out of the game? He's paid his now, dues. Yeah. Exactly. It's like going to prison, coming out. You know, you're obviously remorseful. You can't, like, you got to bounce back somehow. Give him give him a way to breathe. Celebrate 300 exactly. games. Give him that ball. But it's, uh, at the end of the day, it's a new world order, man. They, when things happen like that, they, they, they got look, an agenda. I don't, and why, yeah. sorry to cut yeah, you no, off. Right. Why was it brought up? Because oh. Buff, Buzz Dog Rothfield <laughs> yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah. wrote an open letter and posted it in the Daily Telegraph, right? Uh, the letter was directed to Abdo saying, don't you dare let this guy be celebrated. And, what's and what did the cow would do? What did he do? What did the cow would do? He, he picked up, up the it. phone yeah. and he rang Buzz and he wow. said, yeah, we won't celebrate him. That's wow. disgusting. That, that is because of one miserable old man, yeah. Yeah. right? He's annoying. Had it, had it, had, he had an agenda and he had something against this guy. Yeah. Right? It had nothing to do with women. No. Right? Exactly. If you've got a big issue with women, 
You got right? to where's, your, where's your mate, Paul, Paul Kent? Kent yeah. He's mm. back in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where's that, your mate, Paul oh, Kent? Bro, that got thrown back, back in. Yeah, bro, there you go. What? Just example. because he got found not guilty? Yeah. So you can celebrate him? Yeah. Well, how is Paul Kent and Jack DeBellin any different? Yeah, bro. It's it's when you when they have it against you. Yeah, they really have it. Look, against we, don't, we don't want to go in the deep conversations like yeah. that. Yeah. Like it's just having me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Joey said it all. He said it like perfectly. Like perfectly, I don't think we could explain too, yeah. it any better. Um, but yeah, I think that's a wrap up to league talk, and we're gonna move on to some wrestle talk. All right, guys. Now for some wrestle talk. Um, we've got a new Wait, guest. You're not Joey. <laughs> oh, oh, where's Joey? This is our, <laughs> our cousin Julian. Uh, he was on the WrestleMania 39 preview last year. We done on a Zoom meeting. Us four. He's back again. Uh, a massive WWE fan. So let's get started, boys. Um, first of all, let's talk about Sami Zayn. He's ended Gunter's reign. First of all, let's talk about that match. Good, bad. How do you see it? Nah, Jul- let Julian go. Yeah, go, go off. Um, look, at this very start when Chad versus um, Sami Zayn like Gauntlet. Yeah. I, I didn't expect Sammy to come in. It was yeah. Chad's story since summer of last year. Oh, summer in um, yeah. America, obviously, last year. Yeah. Um, he was facing up for three times. Yeah. Daughter cried. Whatever. So it was a better story for Chad Gable. Or ultimately, it didn't yeah. happen for him. But look, Sammy Zane had an underdog story. They did a Rocky story. Hey, Julian, sorry, cuz. Just right. whenever you talk in the morning. <laughs> sorry, <my life. laughs> this guy, this guy, he's hopeless. He's always like this. <laughs> yeah. That's what, um, so yeah. Um, Obviously, we all fought Chad. We thought Chad yeah. would be a better option. But look, Sami Zayn, he deserves it. Yeah. After last year as well, he was won the Tag Team Champions main event. He's yeah. done well. Um, uh, honestly, we all forgot that Brock Lesnar was supposed to be in this match. Yeah. To think yeah. about yeah, that. that. That's yeah, what that. I thought. Yeah. Because he was uh, supposed to be in the Royal Rumble. He was exactly, meant to, yeah. yeah. But you know what? Yeah, I'm happy with Sami Zayn. Uh, Gunpa, 666 days, which is a weird number to end it. Yeah, 666, yeah. eh? Well, conspiracy <laughs> theory. Yeah, but he's a good wrestler, he's man. Good, yeah. He's but yeah, good. Um, yeah. The ending was very good, so. Yeah, it was. Um, look, like how Julian said, like with that build up of the storyline for Chad Gable, um, to be fair with you, I think he um, done it twice actually when he was trying was to. It, was it three times? No, no, not three times, oh, twice. twice yeah. So he, uh, he, he lost his opportunity. But with the opportunity for Sami Zayn, you, you expect the unexpected too because Sami Zayn has been four-time intercontinental heavyweight champion. Yeah. So he's won it a few times. So, But with the Gotland match, I, I think Julian like, well said it because it was meant to be Jad, uh, Chad Gable's Gable. opportunity yeah. to take that opportunity to Mania, but it didn't happen at all. But I think he'll get his opportunity now. He will because I told you guys yesterday for yeah. the day one at WrestleMania, WrestleMania. That since Sami Zayn won the Intercontinental title, I think he will give him the opportunity to defend the title. It could be a um, backlash in France yeah. because they, they said yeah. that's the next pay per view. So I would love to see that card Sami Zayn versus um, Chad Gable for the Intercontinental. But with Gunter's uh, winning streak, that was a big milestone for him and he's beat the record too. So yeah, Most ever. Yeah. In the but for what's the next step for Gunter? Yeah, well, I have think he's going to be going into the world title picture. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. But does Gable turn heel? Or uh, does he do a face That's a very good question. He didn't walk out with him. He didn't walk out with him in his entrance. That's right. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. That's right. I could, think it's just going to be- You could say he, he, a, he's a, jealous. He could be jealous or it could be just a oh, very respectful a reason, but, I mean, respectful and peaceful fight. Yeah, just yeah. neutral face. Yeah, but- Baby face, The devil's- Bro, but what, what is the devil good at? Deception. Yeah. You know, yes. maybe <laughs> him training him is, you know, setting him Motivate up. Motivate him and that, but then shot. it'll switch back and then he'll yeah. turn yeah. into But look, we, we know so. it's going to be um, Gable and Sami Zayn because yeah. Gable, before Sami went into the ring, he goes, you Sammy owe me a favour. Yeah. That's right. So, like, it's really in the start, it's going to be them. Yeah. Um, I agree with Chabot in a way that it could be both fighters, like hardworking fighters. There's not going to be a heel. It's just going to be two... Great wrestlers in the ring batting out for international yes. champion. Then I think some will turn on each other and then they'd have yeah. another match. That's what I feel could happen. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. one more thing as well. You have to understand that, um, I don't know if you've watched the SmackDown uh, before the Mania. So Bronson Reed actually won the Andre the Giant Battle Memorial. Uh, he did. Uh, Battle Royal, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So he's actually eyeing on Sami Zayn for the Intercontinental. He was meant to look at Gunther for the Intercontinental. But it switched back the round. So I think Bronson Reed is probably going to be the next lineup. So if Chad Gable lose 
against Sami Zayn, I think that's when the heel turn that's comes right. in. Yeah. And how you said about deception, that's when it's going to happen. It's going to be interesting to see what happens between these yeah. two. But let's talk about Damien Priest cashing oh. in his money in the oh, bank. I yeah. expected yeah. it to happen. Yeah. Before we talk, talk about yeah, that, yeah. let's talk about Drew McIntyre versus Seth yeah. Rollins. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Well, well, yeah. Remember I flipped the table? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I swear to God. Oh, I, yeah, he was angry. What well, exactly happened? Just like okay, we're watching. I pouring the M and M's at the very start. Yeah. Drew yeah. Claymore, Seth. I didn't watch it. I hear Samuel screaming or someone screaming. Okay. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> Anyways, you flipped the table on the, the with Damien. Okay, Drew wins. We all kind of expected yeah. it. Yeah, let's yeah. be honest. But as soon as CM Punk attacked him, I yeah. literally said the second before, oh my god, Damien's <laughs> coming. Yeah. He hit the music here. <laughs> He does the whatever <laughs> <I> finish up, <laughs> and I'm like fuck, and I flip the table. I flip the keys. My dad's keys are on the table. Oh, yeah, it was bad. It was all just bad. like, what well, was the card? I, I don't feel <laughs> Damon. Top five, top five. You cashing. were saying Damon suits World Heavyweight Championship. He does suit it. For he me, I, I'm. I, I don't like it. <laughs> nah, he, he, he does. He does nah, suit he does that suit. one. He's a good wrestler. Don't get me wrong. He what, he, he's developed over the years when he w was first with Bad Bunny when he first started, and then getting into the Judgment Day, betraying Edge. He's grown yeah. over the years, and his character, his storyline is very good. But yeah, World Heavyweight Championship. I'm not just. I'm not vibing with it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it'll it'll, it'll grow on you. But what about that cash in? Would you Would you say top five? Nah, it would be. Is it better than Rollins? Is it better than Rollins? Not better than Rollins because Rollins was more like a steal in the main event. Yeah. But for opening WrestleMania. Yeah. Listen, I, I hate it so much. I'm yeah. not a fan of it, but it's, in terms of like a yeah. non bite like a one doesn't watch WWE, yeah. I'll yeah. tell yeah. you that. Yeah. Well, but poor, poor McIntyre. The yeah. bloke yeah. won it for five Four minutes, years. you know, and, and, and had, had that story, moment, yeah. and had that storyline about not having his moment with no crowd at Mania yeah. winning that world title. He wins the world title, gets his moment for five <laughs> minutes, gets stripped away from that. Title. Oh, yeah. I was talking about it with Samuel and Charbel. Yeah. That this means McIntyre is a face now. That's yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, he is. He is. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Because yeah. like, now, this is some, look, it will oh, go no, down. Oh, no, it won't, but. No, I CM think it's like. Because CM Punk. Yeah. Well, CM, if CM Punk turns. But I don't think Drew's going to be done in Damien. Yeah, no, yeah, no way. chance. Yeah, no yeah, exactly. Look, Drew McIntyre now, look, it will go down in history. He's got the bell. He won the bell. Yeah. But for him, this would not mean anything to him. This is just yeah. like a slap in the face. Exactly. But again, I believe he signed the contract because he knows he's going to get that World Heavyweight Championship soon and he's going to hold it for a while. Exactly. It's, it's and this is going to start. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, 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 that's all right. This is going to start Judgment Day's breakup. Damien's gonna, uh, Finn's going to be jealous of Damien because yeah. 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 he obviously got the World Championship. Like, obviously, Finn's been trying for how long now? Yeah. He still hasn't got it. Yeah. So I think this is going to start. Exactly. Yeah. And not just that, oh, you yeah. forgot about Dominic Mysterio. He's probably going to line with um, Santos yeah. Escobar yeah, yeah. as well. And, and Carlito right. as well, because you, you saw what happened yeah. with LWO. Yeah. That Dragon League got injured. So he's going to be turning heel. And you talk about Judgment Day, yeah. of course, yeah. separating. There's been signs during the, yeah. the heading up into WrestleMania. Yeah. Again, like you said, Dominic Mysterio, Damian Priest, there's been a few prob problems like who's taking control of uh, what's it called, Judgment Day. Yeah. No one's been, everyone's been having their own storyline and yeah. focusing on themselves rather than the Judgment Day. So yeah. again, it, we could be seeing the end of Judgment and Day. And they're being soon. frustrated with JD not winning. Not yeah. winning. Yeah. And 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 Ricky Ricky I think Ricky Ricky yeah. But you know how Damian Priest won the World Heavyweight Championship? He's the actual, f uh, I think the first or second Puerto Rican yeah, to win. Yeah, first in uh, fuck. Like 50 first, years. first Puerto years, Rican yeah. in 50, 50 years. years. Yeah, yeah. That's a big milestone, yeah. man. I don't, I don't That's a big that milestone much. for a Puerto Rican wrestler to oh, win. Pedro yeah. Morales. So yeah, yeah. Pedro Morales. Yeah, 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 that was him. Look, on Bill's point about yeah. that top five, is it the one of the best cash ins? Like, I think it's uh, like top three because yeah. the yeah, fact yeah, that CM Punk was the one that done it at the end, flipped him. Yes, came and hit it, took his car like cast off. Yes, I think that means he's medically clean now. Yeah, I think he's he, yeah, he, he 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 Saint Punk. You reckon and he'll turn heel? Who's Saint Punk? Well, no, no, no. The, the way how he attacked the no, no, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre was turning him, come attack him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was so, calling. Yeah, he was calling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Him. Well, what's Saint Punk gonna do? Is, like clap him, you know? He, no, no, yeah, of course I don't not. Know, I know what you mean, but yeah. no, nah, Saint Punk's not turning heel. Uh, nah. There was a comment saying it's funny how he was. In that sense, he was heel, but he's still he's still good. Yeah, so that's right. We've seen because Drew's a heel. That's why. Yeah, we've seen Punk like that was um like. That's what made that cash in even like better. And then Drew McIntyre, um, Damien Priest came in and then Drew, um, Sam Punk crossed his legs and just clapped him off yeah. like that. Yeah, that yeah. was just just an amazing yeah. moment. Yeah, it was. What, good, but what a match. I'm, I'm When's Drew gonna actually hold it Look, and have yeah, a rain? It, it, will, happen right it now, will happen soon. McIntyre's <laughs> focus is on Sam Punk. Yeah. I think yeah, before that right that now, then, Damien yeah. Priest, I think probably Gunther is gonna challenge him next. Who's else gonna challenge him right now? Oh, not, not uh, yet Gunther, think, no, no, no. I don't think that will happen. I think, that um, Drew McIntyre will, will versus CM Punk first yeah, to get it out of the storyline first. Then the next step, 
So that's Damien when he'll jump in into the world title picture. Then yeah. he'll capture. So the Damien Priest won't have a challenger for a while. You saying? Nah, he's gonna. No, I think he, he will have someone, but we so don't you know who. Finn's the first I think Finn, Finn maybe not. Maybe Finn will turn on him. Summer Slam, there'll be Finn versus Damien. Yeah, it'll be Seth and McIntyre. I feel. Well, oh sorry, Seth and um Priest. I yeah, like because he lost his world heavyweight title. Well, yeah, what I do you think reckon so. about? We're, we're forgetting now. Cody's the the title, the champion now. Yeah. What about Gunsa with Cody? Do you think uh, he can get that? No, it depends champion? what nah. happens to the draft. No, no. But yeah, because Triple H was saying that today. They're saying that um, the draft is coming up, yeah. so there's going to be a lot of switches yeah, around the brand. Yeah, that's so. why I'm saying that is because we know Gunsa that is not capable, shouldn't be the one to dethrone Roman. But now yeah. Cody has the belt, so you could say, could Gunsa? You know, have a chance of that the WWE champion rather than the world. No, I think it should go world heavyweight. I think world heavyweight. Start with world and then go to yeah. yeah build his way up. Well, yeah. look, man, talking about Cody Rhodes, yeah. what a match that was! Oh, oh, what a what a good match, man. Best gracious, main man. event what a in bro, WWE history. All those moments <laughs> says it all. Like to be that, fair with you, that, and everything that just built up with that. Let's story. let's uh, let's talk about the, let's the break, returns. Let's break each. <laughs> oh my god! First, let's talk about the returns. Oh. Yes. John Cena. Oh my god! Yes, Undertaker. Well, let's say, the let, shield. Let's talk about how it happened first. Yes. Oh, yeah. So Kua comes out. Yeah. Does oh, the spike. Interviews, the usual. No, right? no, Jimmy. Jimmy, 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 yeah, Jimmy, yeah, Jimmy, yeah, first, Jimmy yeah. comes yeah. out. Jay, all right, obvious. Spears and then who comes way. after Sakura? Solo. And, yeah, he's Solo. Brother. And we're all like, nah, this has to be Cena now. Cena's the theme song. <laughs> yes. We're Cena, going crazy. Cena, exactly. As soon as I saw that, and I was driving, like, and even when I was working as well, I was looking at him, like, what the hell is John Cena doing there? Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't expect that. Right, right, we knew yeah. The Rock was coming And then after moving that. on, after that, who comes in after? I'm the Rock. Johnson. The rock. We get oh, thrice in a lifetime, three times in a lifetime. From 2020 to 2014. Our, our, our dream match was happening again. Yes. And then okay. who comes Unpopular after that? Unpopular opinion. Yes. The Shields one was the most unexpected one. To oh, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. It, was a, it was a theme song, yes. Yeah, that was We weird. all thought, I had a Moxley. feeling Dean, yeah. Dean. Moxley because come. there's been rumors I, that Dean Ambrose, not of course before, like he, he may return to WWE very soon. But he's still at I think AW, soon yeah. he's gonna return. Yeah. But we don't know what's happening at WWE right now. Yeah, yeah. it's changed. Surely he's gonna Dean wanna Ambrose piss the is gonna say, oh my, WWE's coming back and They're I wanna be a part of this yeah. great journey. He's coming back yeah. one but, day. I don't but know how when, who, but You know who was unexpected? Undertaker. 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 I said Undertaker <laughs> might pop out. <laughs> like, I told you yesterday. No, that so. was such a, bro, that that was WWE's end game. Bro, like that that was end game. I truly think WWE can't top this they for the can't. next 100 years. 100%. 100 years will pass, they can't top but did that you, moment. Did you see the well, fight? What a way to end the I reign. Did. We thought we, they can't top CM Punk and Randy Orton coming back yeah. in the same night. Look what exactly. they do. Well. But did you see how they put the old photos from 2000 when The Rock and The Undertaker, 24 years later oh, now. I put it. Yeah, the way how yeah, you yeah. put that. And with John Cena and The Rock, yeah. bro, yeah. like bro, come it's on. Back, it's back, baby. WWE is cool again. But look, let's, Talk about Cody Rhodes yes. down Roman Reigns. What's next? Look, uh, it's it's sad that his reign has ended. Yes, but Cody Rhodes, man, finish his story. Well deserved. Yeah. Everything is done Give for him. Give a round of applause for Cody it's Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. Well, we've, got, we've got a took him two years. We've got a Roman lover here, so he's not gonna. He's not gonna. He's not gonna. <laughs> gonna to your trouble, chief. He's not gonna acknowledge Cody Rhodes. No, okay, 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 coming okay, out of okay, his face. Let, let me say. Let me say something. Okay, let me say something. I always believed in my heart that. Jay should have been the one to the front room. And look, look, the family drama, all that. I yes. feel like Jay, I don't better. think Jay can carry a company like Cody. Yeah. So I'll give Cody his, pre look, I like Cody. I'm not, I don't love Cody, <laughs> yeah. but I don't hate Cody. Yeah. But like, in terms of like who I wanted to finish the story, it wasn't Cody, it was Jay. But look, Jay didn't do it. So I knew Cody was going to be- It was always going to be Cody. Who, well, who yeah. else other than Cody yeah. was, was going to be? Well, we know Rock could have just gone, like, yeah. I want to win the championship. It won't be Rock. Yeah. You know what I'm Rock, saying? Rock, he either way, no way. Yeah. Who's, who's on television week in and week out? Who's carrying Cody the company Rhodes. in merch sales? Who's carrying the company in other ways without the belt? My Cody Rhodes. My answer he was winning Rhodes, that belt. Yeah. He was winning that belt. Because he's in and out every single week. Like it's good to see Cody Rhodes. Let me say something. If Where's they that? did Rock and Roman, what was Cody gonna do this WrestleMania? Seth, I don't Seth. think Seth, it would have been really? Seth. No, it was Seth. You wanted no. No one wanted it, but no, it was no, gonna no. be. But that was that's what would, they were heading to. Bro, Seth. they they, they, um, they had a promo. They, yeah, they were, they yeah were but would Seth win that? Would Seth win nah, that? Cody, for sure. Oh, it would have been Cody. I, I reckon oh, he would have yeah. won that belt. Yeah, exactly. And, <laughs> yeah. what, and what's yeah. good about Triple H, which <laughs> what's good about Triple H that what, what Vince McMahon didn't do at his time at WWE is listen, you know, I, I was watching an interview with The Rock and Triple H. Um, They were saying it um, yeah. on two different interviews. They were saying there was two options, either go with The Rock and Roman storyline or Cody and uh, Reigns, yeah. you know, Reigns finishing that yeah. story. Yeah, yeah. They had two options. They said, all right, let's see how it plays out, Rock and Roman. 
It didn't work out. All yeah. right, let's switch plans and let's go with Reigns and Cody and end up paying. Because you look at Rock something. in the press conference, which I love to see. Fans calling out, oh, he wants his moment. He yeah. always wants that mm. big moment, what he did to see in Punk and Cody Rhodes. Yeah. And then he comes in a press conference yesterday saying, oh, when the fans wanted Cody Rhodes to be the one to dethrone uh, the right. Roman, yeah. he said, give them what they want. The fans without him exactly. were nothing. And that, that's what made it a special moment. We, like, it, not to be like, yeah. we got Cody Rhodes that title. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. We, we got him that position at Mania, getting that main event that we that want moment, Cody yeah. movement. That got him to that point and exactly. w- that's what won Look, him the title. Uh, like I was going to say something as all. Well. What Cody said in the press conference after Mania, yeah. he said it wasn't easy because after that big loss last year, mm. he even said about um, to his mother, like he was saying, what do I do? Like what's the next thing? Uh, do I keep going? Do mm. I finish the story? Or I step back and do something else? Yeah. To be fair, I think he made that right choice to finish that story, to build that, that storyline, that momentum going and having all those matches before Rumble because no one didn't expect that Ray, uh, I mean, Cody Rhodes was going to win the Rumble this year. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone thought CM yeah, yeah, Punk right. was going to win the, the Rumble. Mm. I was waiting for CM Punk but to win that on Rumble. That, there's, there's been yeah. a lot of events throughout this year that have, yeah. haven't been planned, but it's turned out to work in their favour. Exactly. We've got to give respect to Rock because I think he has promoted this so good. Oh, yeah, right. All the hype, like all the motion, him, all the This WrestleMania would have not yeah, been right. great. And that's what's good about The Rock. Exactly. Now, Roman, there's questions that he could, that could be the end of him. We I won't see him for years. But uh, there are other, there's other parts yeah. saying that he might have a play. I think he's going to show up one more time this week. Just to say his goodbyes, you know, let the fans yeah. give him a round of applause. It has to, he can't just leave. He has yeah, to have yeah. his one more final moment. So yeah. what and do you reckon with yeah. the Roman uh, thing? Before, uh, yeah. before, no, no, I was, I was, yeah, was going to say, this. he was originally retired in 2020. He's, yeah. he's coming right, and said yeah. that. But that he's, he felt like, I don't know if you watched the documentary, he felt like he hadn't done enough in the he company. He wanted to say, I want to do it my way. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So that, yeah, that's yeah. where that tribal chief character came into yeah. play. Yeah. Achieved achieved a lot with it. Yeah. Know, four did. year title reign. I feel like now what he's got left to prove Roman Reigns, nothing. He's done it all, man. You know exactly. his top five no, it's fourth. Uh, fourth his four, his fourth uh, title, title reign. Yeah. He's done it all, man. I don't think there's anything Roman Reigns could do right now that would top the storyline he had with the bloodline. I exactly. think it's done for him. I yeah. truly think he should just call it a day. Look, yeah. He's already a part timer, so you might as well just yeah, hang exactly. up the boots. And it's sad, of course, the leukemia part. He's on remission. Yeah. It's sad. He's only thirty eight years old. Yeah. He's still young. He's, he's still very young. young. And for very his young. career, to was staying cold when he retired. Yeah, too, but he that, that cut short because with and the it's rock. sad to see these wrestlers who have so much still. A Potential, long way to yeah. go, 10, 12 years to go, yeah. and so surely. And look, you know, Julian knows me about Roman Reigns saying about title overrated, which I still stand by that. But what he has achieved for this this company, the storyline in the last four to five years, yeah. especially with fans going against him with that, uh, when he was in the Shield, no one wanted him to be the top dog. And the what he dog. has built, yeah, yeah. what is it? The big dog. The big it dog. Was eight, the big years. dog yeah. eight years. Eight years. No, no, I'm no, saying the four 14, years of bloodline. Yeah, no, the, the tribal to chief. 20. Yeah. yeah. No, sorry, right. Dog, yeah. Yeah. Four, no, 12 to 14 was Shield. Yeah. yeah. Everyone liked him in Shield. Yeah. yeah. But it was after that. 14 after to that, 20. Yeah. yeah. 14 to 20 was, was when he got dog, hated. Yeah. But how s- quick things turned around. That four years of period during lockdown, yeah. he carried the business during the toughest yeah, times right, of their career. Even fans were leaving because how boring and repetitive the business and the storylines were. And here's the reason why WWE is back to his best. Credit to to Triple H but he's a big part and yeah, he is. I'm gonna you're miss gonna Roman his, and yeah. what he's done it's but gonna be it's it, weird without him I was gonna say as well like we have to congratulate as well Paul Heyman oh, uh, yeah. oh, went into yeah. the Hall Great of Fame manager of all but time. I love that segment when he bring back the ECW yeah, oh, that, was was that cool feeling bro when I was watching ECW back in the days right it was the best pay-per-view and main event like I'm saying pay-per-view to watch like mm. the best shows Yeah. when you had Tommy Dreamer when you had Rob, yeah. Rob Van Dreamer, Dan, yeah. Sandman yeah. Um, Chris, no not just Chris Christian bit, yeah. yeah but Sam Punk was in there too um, Chris. Oh, uh, there was a lot of <laughs> a lot of ECW <laughs> legends yeah. bro yeah, right. Terry Funk as well they were the best Look, uh, I want to quickly before you know Wrestlemania what, this is probably one of the best Wrestlemanias yeah. in yeah, the main history event the, the main event yeah, was yeah. crazy what was your favourite moment in you know in WrestleMania and your favorite match, wait, as in like all, all, all time, like of all time, no, 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 of WrestleMania forty, of WrestleMania forty. Oh, well, oh, yeah, we're I think we can all same. agree. Yeah. Bro, yeah, like nothing, can. nothing will top that main event. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing yeah. will ever top that. What yeah. main event. moment? What's your favorite moment? Uh, that no, main no, no, event, but a moment in that. Okay, okay. For me, it's a Cena. Cena rock, Cena and Rock stare down. Cena rock stare down. Yeah, I'm gonna say on the taker when he um when he chokes Sam the Rock. Look, I'd agree with you in that. Of course, that's the most. 
That was really, the most the one, most yeah. Answer we're Before gonna all Cena, choose. Yeah. But if I was going to choose, probably, it's probably not a lie, but maybe when, what's it called, Damien cashed it in. That was like- yeah. a, That a, moment? It's a moment. The moment, that, the moment yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I, I didn't, like, good, I didn't, I didn't like, like it, yeah, yeah but yeah. the moment was good. Yeah, the um, moment was good, yeah. yeah. That's a tough one. Uh, Bro, Jimmy and Jay, that, ta- that yeah. table clash. That was crazy. That was, that was that better than yeah, all that. What's happening tomorrow, Monday Night Raw? What do you think's going to happen? Monday Night Raw after Mania uh, is always crazy. But by the time you, this is uploaded, yeah. we're going to no, say, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. But, but what do you think? Uh, Whatever. Um, um, I'm going to say I'm going to say that um, Adam Pearce might bring back the, like, you know, the, the World Tag title. Team. Yeah, the World Tag Team Champions. So they said uh, that- um, It's the a new Miz, era. It's a new era now. So I think the Miz and- our truth are the world tag team, so they're going to bring new belts. Yeah, but there's going to be big surprises. Apparently, there is surprises coming. Is, in. This, an, is this another rumor? Yes, there is another <laughs> yeah, anyway, rumor. Okay, so quickly, what's your? So what do you think is going to happen? Just say one word. What do you think is going to happen? There's big surprises coming so, in. So oh. tag team belt, you're saying you? Not just that, but like I'm saying, surprises. Okay, Julian, what are you saying? So come back to me because I, I have no idea. Come, <laughs> back, come back to me. Come what's on. happening? You think one big thing? Um, I I think. Roman Reigns announces his ret- retirement. Well, okay, that's a big one, yeah. Samuel. Um, I'm saying Cody Rhodes comes out, has his speak. No, Roman Reigns comes out, announces his retire- retirement. He's going away. The fans give him a round of applause, and Cody Rhodes comes in, shakes his hand, they hug it out, and yeah, that's how I think it's what's going to happen. Look, it might not happen, but I can see a big return. Who? From who? There's, there's always something big that there's happens. There's always something big yeah. after was so shit. What I got was Riddle to return. Look, Lesnar <laughs> came, <laughs> <Lesnar> came <laughs> back. Who was excited about Riddle? <laughs> but then he got suspended. Look, Lesnar was back last week, last year. No, he did a heel turn, but he didn't return. But so that was a big moment. Uh, yeah, there'll be a moment tomorrow. I think there's going to be a massive moment. Well, that could be a massive moment, Roman retiring. Would Lesnar return one day soon? Yeah. You know what? They're mentioning him now. They're mentioning him, but- I don't know about uh, that. Look, that's a wrap to rest talk. Let's quickly move on to the 1,000 subscriber Q&A. We've yeah, put it's it on been our a while. story. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while, but we haven't done a Q&A in a while, but yeah, yeah we're doing a 1,000 <coughs> subscriber. Again. Yeah, yeah, so we'll read out uh, your comments. Let's let's start off. Um, where are we going? Do we filter out the bad ones or? Yeah. Well, we I'll start it? with everything, we'll, bro. I'll just say it. <laughs> You're going to expect uh, the unexpected yeah. anyways. So, so like talk, the talk Ben says, this is before the WrestleMania main event. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Cody will not finish the story. End up finishing it. He actually went. End up <laughs> finishing <laughs> it. Story, yep. So, Julian, <laughs> touchdown takeover, the 21 yeah, 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 and one yeah, yeah, Brock Lesnar. Yeah, yeah. Follow us. We're not, we're not even on anything, but follow, follow us. <laughs> and then Jacob, his co host, says the touchdown takeover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, unsubscribe to us. Go subscribe to them right now. <laughs> we have nothing on there. How you uh, do it, but do it. The links are in the description. <laughs> oh, well. John Cena put those links because they're invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Simply Sports said, um, well done, boys, for hitting 1K. What other big plans do you have other than Anthony skydiving? Um, we've what's, got that, heaps, what's the other big plan? We're coming up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what's, that, what's our big plans, what's boys? Big plan? A lot of big things. Actually, there's things that are in the works that will make waves yeah. in the whole community, which yeah. we'll, we're trying to bring back something. That's oh, our hint. That's, true. that's, a, that's a big that's thing that's happening. Yeah. A lot of you guys are going to love it. <coughs> and I'm going to stop. We're going to stop at nothing until we bring it. So, yeah. yeah that, that's more said. But, um, Whether you like it or <laughs> you don't <laughs> like it. <laughs> Anyways, Joey. Joey's like, yeah, how yeah. much did Bashara pay you to be a part of the Touchline team? Uh, <laughs> how much? How much did he pay, boys? Should we reveal it? I don't know. I, I, it's confidential. Was it under the right. and let, let's just yeah, say it was under more, the th- more than what Sutton's getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> all I can say, it was affordable. It was affordable. <laughs> yeah, remember that moment? I think I might go bankruptcy then. Anyways, <laughs> um, Mike Cool one three two two. Yeah, is it only up from here for the dogs? Uh, are the dogs like are the dogs gonna get better? <laughs> Look, point, they are gonna get better. I'll say that if we had beaten Rabbitohs yeah, and then yeah. beaten Roosters, imagine that beating the two biggest clubs in Sydney, that would be incredible. And if we had be, if we beat Melbourne, that would be in a crazy three weeks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Look, and that can really help us. On that point, they're really not a forty minute team if they're losing coming back from Roosters from yeah. twenty six nil to fucking 30, 26, uh, I truly think. Yeah. I truly think. I stand by it. Put your house on the dogs. I'm yeah. always going to say. Dogs, the dogs will bounce back and they'll, they'll win. Better. They'll win the. They make storms. That's why. Um, and Hannah says, Nicole. Nicole. <laughs> yeah. Who do you want? Your Who do you want for your next special guest? Ooh. We haven't even thought about that. To be honest, know, we've had like one. discussions uh, before. <laughs> Julian, I know we got Julian <laughs> right now and, and Joey, but we haven't thought about it yet. But we're trying to get into the world. If there's one guest we can get, like it's not a stretch, we can get. Who would you get? That's a tough one, man. My, my, you're, you know mine. My dream is McGregor. That's yeah, Conor McGregor is yours. That'll be the end game for me. For a d- for me, for an after hour, I'll get Mark Wahlberg. Okay, that's a Mark good Wahlberg. One. Yeah. yeah, Mark Wahlberg. That's pretty Who good. Who would I get? Um, I sports. 
No, no, my <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite one. I think I'd love to have. This will be a dream. Like it has to be like John Cena or someone. I, I would get um like if I had a podcast, obviously <laughs> I would get um Sean Michaels. I'm gonna ask for you. No, I'm joking. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm joking. I said Sean Michaels not because he's my favorite wrestler because yeah. he's like the whole Catholic the yeah, whole. Yeah, 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 no, no, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Um, um, Anthony, yeah. we didn't get Anthony. You know what? I'm gonna stick with Rob Whitaker, right? Rob Whitaker. Yeah, that'd be a mad one. He's one of the like one of the best Australian UFC fighters. Yeah. At the moment, and I know he's going to get back his um, his title back against yeah. Jacob Stuplesis. Yeah. So I would love to have him on yeah. our podcast. Let, so let's not forget Grayson Waller. He's a bang sound. Grayson boy. Waller. Yeah, so speaking on. of, bro, could we actually a, forgot could about that him. Could that be in the making? Mm. Never know. Anyways, bang some boys. Anyways, yes. Joe, Joe Ryder says, "Do you think Dominic Young deserved the harsher band? We talked about it. I think he's still, oh, he's we spoke still, about yeah, it. We spoke about it. Re- no. Say it again. He deserves the band." But how long Harsha Ben would it Harsha Ben? He said, "No, I think no, no, no I think it's it good what he got given." Yeah, I don't no, think so. Um, Samuel, can I be on your podcast? <laughs> oh <my> anyways, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, Jamie six seven three eight eight three. Do dogs need new coaching staff? No, I feel like it, we, I we got good coaches. It's good at the moment, it's gonna but take time. we're still we still got a long way to go. It's gonna take yeah. time. It takes time. Yeah. Um, A F I F William, when did you think Saints? Uh, when do you think Saints will win their next premiership? Joey. That's a very oh, good lock, one. Lock is, Joey. That's, that's so probably right. uh, let's go, let's go. Uh, let's go 2092. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good year for them. <laughs> yeah. right, I'll be honest. Yeah. I'll say 2026. Yeah, I was saying the same thing. So 2026 could be Dragon's year. 2020, okay. 2026. 20, 20, uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to be realistic. I'm going to go like 2027. We're in 2024 right like now. The next few years. This year Bulldogs are winning yeah. it. Uh, say that with passion. <laughs> 2030. Dragons away. Yeah, okay, that's, that's all right. <laughs> no, <but> <laughs> <laughs> Tigers will win it before dra- Dragons do. <laughs> no, I, th- I think Dragons will win it before Tigers. Did you that's say what I reckon. It, uh, sure. Sorry, I went dra- okay. uh, said twenty twenty. Last one, the JC production. This is for everyone. What is your favorite year of NRL and why? Oh. Favorite NRL. Right. Okay. Uh, Julian what? started. The uh, season yeah. or right, moment? Yeah, season. Doesn't matter. The season. Um, season. Season. Okay. Go Julian. Year. I fell in love with 2011, but 2012 Bulldogs. Oh my! Ben, every time Ben Barber touched that ball, he would oh. was gold. 100 meters. He would just run, yeah. and mm. you got Morris, Pritchard, Cassiano. What's Mike the Wilson. what's what's the famous line? If Benny Barber put his hand down the toilet, <laughs> he put out <laughs> a gold, gold wallet. Wallet. He was just famous amazing. Gus every line. game, you know they're gonna win. Yeah, uh, that, Bill. the grand final, whatever. Oh, bro, <laughs> hands down, one million percent. 2012, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Benny Barber, Ben Barber, magic, bro. Every time he touched the ball, he was scoring a try. Is this about that dogs whole talking t- about? Yeah, okay, like yeah, just yeah. that whole no, no, not dogs, bro. Just the whole league, bro. Was it was? Yeah, I it feel was like fun. NRL was in its prime in 2012. 100%. I started watching from 07, to be honest, and that was like my prime, like me, me getting to know NRL more. And dogs happened yeah. to be winning around that time. It just made NRL so much better. All the teams were smashing it. You had Thurston, Cronk, Slater. <laughs> you had bro. Everyone still in their prime. It just it was amazing. Um, uh, 2002, um, dogs versus Souths. Since when the year I was born. Yeah, you were born actually. Yeah, <laughs> not to make you feel. It's <laughs> all right. Two thousand two, when um, Nigel Vangana put on a tr- uh, hat trick yeah. against South Sydney, it was like thirty four to six. Bro, what a gun player, man! Nigel Vangana, one of the best centers of all time. Yeah, bro, he he like. I don't, I don't know how to say it, bro. What do you he, want, boys? He was my favourite uh, moment. 2012? Really, yeah. 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 Can't say can't no, I'm saying 2002. 2002 when dogs stepped up. Yeah. 2012 so. is our only really best year. So yeah. we have to really go with that. But, um, yeah. Anthony, I can't believe you didn't say 04. That's the year they won. I know, yeah, I know. I know 04, but 2002, bro, before they won the premiership. Okay. They yeah, were winning every game. So I bet I, bet I would have said 04 if like, yeah. I was oh, coming yeah. like, if you If you were born in 02, I mean, like before uh, uh, 2000, all right, you'll see the game. Yeah, yeah. 2002, but, dogs um, had the best. Yeah, season, that's a wrap so. up for our 1,000 <laughs> subscriber Q&A. Thanks a lot again, guys, for your continuous support. It doesn't stop here, as we said, but if you're new here, hit the like button, hit subscribe, comment down below. Thanks, Julian. Thanks, Joey, for coming on the Thanks, podcast. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's been a wrap up. And make sure, guys, you click the link down below, buy the tickets, EWA's Vantage Points happening the 27th of April at 7 p.m. You don't want to miss it. We're coming for you, boys. We're going to smash them. Um, We're yeah, going to destroy them. Destroy them. They don't know what they don't know what's coming. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later.